the Duke of York must respond to a civil lawsuit made by Virginia Roberts Dufre of sexual abuse by October 29, or risk a judgment by default. Ms. Dufre claimed that the prince had sexually assaulted her on three separate occasions when she was 17. She claims she was forced by convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein to have sex with the Duke in London as well as at Epstein's Manhattan townhouse and on his Caribbean island. Andrew has absolutely and categorically denied the allegations while Buckingham Palace has called the claims false and without foundations. He told Newsnight in 2019, it didn't happen, I can absolutely categorically tell you it never happened, I have no recollection of ever meeting this lady, none whatsoever. The Duke was reported to have urged his legal team to put out a statement refuting Ms. Jeffrey's claims after she filed her lawsuit in August. However a royal expert has claimed that Andrew has full confidence in his legal team. Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and features Daily Mirror royal editor Russell Myers. Mr. Myers said in an episode released on September 23rd, Andrew's lawyers will get to grips with what needs to be done and it remains to be seen what the defense is. Andrew was going to stay, I was told, with this legal team in London, he had full confidence in them moving forward. Well, it seems as though they've got all hands on deck now, as the wheels are in motion, he's got to respond to these claims. Obviously he has vehemently denied all of them at every stage we are told. Andrew's UK legal team is led by criminal defence solicitor Gary Bloxham, who was hired last year after Andrew's disastrous BBC Newsnight interview with Emily Maitlis in November 2019. He has also hired Andrew Brettler, who has previously represented several Hollywood stars. A source close to Andrew told the Sunday Mirror on September 19, that the prince was extremely worried about his legal situation, adding, the plan, if you can call it a plan, has been shambolic from the start. The damage to his reputation is there for all to see but now he's directly involved. The whole thing is a disaster. However, it was reported by the Daily Telegraph this weekend that the Queen was spending millions of her private wealth to fund Andrew's defense team. Her Majesty had agreed to pay for her son's legal defense after his Newsnight interview in which he addressed his friend with Epstein, according to the publication. The report was published the same week the Duke of York expanded his American legal team by hiring Melissa Lerner to work alongside lead counsel Mr. Brettler. The case is understood to be extremely expensive with U.S. lawyer Mr. Brettler reportedly charging $2,000 £1 an hour. The funds will reportedly be sourced from the Queen's annual income from the Duchy of Lancaster, which recently increased by £1.5 million to more than £23 million, the report said. Buckingham Palace declined to comment on the report. To subscribe to Pod Save the Queen go to your normal podcast provider.